Hello everyone. I hope you enjoyed the Jacob Lawrence paintings and a little bit of history about his life. Um, today we're going to create a cityscape in his style. We're going to call it a Jacob Lawrence inspired cityscape. However, we're going to put a little modern day twist on it if you want to. Okay, so let me show you what I have created. Okay. And basically what you are doing is you are making rectangular buildings with square buildings and putting in a bunch of little windows and stuff like he had in his. See the different little colors down here at this building. You can see how the windows are like split into colors. Um, very reminiscent of him. And then very simple automobiles on the road. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is draw a line and section off for your road. And then draw a brown line because my black marker wasn't working. So I used brown. You can use brown, you can use black. And then I drew a bottom line here for the sidewalk. Okay. Now, if you have burgundy or maroon or brick red, uh, you can actually make these that color, the buildings, because they're like brown, brick red. So I used my brown dry erase. And then as you can see, the top of this one building, you can see the roof. So I used black to show the top of the roof. And the buildings are different sizes. Okay, so you can do that as well. Um, I also added a church because there is a church in one of his famous paintings and I just decided to put a school next to it. Okay, but as you can see my cars are very primitive and he used a lot of red, green, blues, yellows, dark reds, dark blues, dark greens. So feel free to put your little spin on it. So what I did is to give it a little up-to-date flair, and you can do it if you want. You don't have to. Uh, I made the name of the store Cup Foods, and Cup Foods is a store that George Floyd went into to make a purchase where the whole incident started, um, where he allegedly passed a $20 counterfeit bill. The police came, and we know what happened from there. Um, he was held down. Officer had his knee on his neck for eight and a half minutes. The man was crying, screaming for his mother, and he eventually died. Um, so I also added hashtag Black Lives Matter. And this is the second uh, drawing in a series for Black History Month. So you can add those if you'd like, if you want to draw you know, on one of the side of the buildings, a mural, you can do that. And then I made it look nighttime, but again, I don't have the colors you do, so I use blue. If you have a navy blue, that would be awesome, because if this was all solid navy blue, um, it would look better. And then I put a little crescent, crescent moon there, okay? So when you're doing this, you're not going to just zip, zip, you know, like I did. You're going to color it solid navy blue. So it gives it that more of a Jacob Lawrence effect. Okay, your buildings will be solid colors too, like, you know, dark brown, brick red. Okay, I squiggle it in quickly because, you know, that's what I do to move the painting along. And then I um, just put some little lines on the road there, which you can do with your black. Um, and that's it. Okay. So I want you to use your creativity. I want you to, you know, make sure you look at all those paintings that I posted, uh, in the video. And, um, I can't wait to see what you create and show me next week. Okay. This is if you missed the live class. Okay. So I expect to see your drawing next week. 
uh, pause the video as needed if you're trying to duplicate things that I have up there. Also, um, you can email it to me through Schoology, but I prefer you just hold on to it and show it to me next week so we can discuss it, okay? All right, my friends, have a great day. See you next time.